Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on some new Charlotte Tilbury goodies that just came out, the Jewel Collection. I bought the eyeshadow and the lip gloss and I cannot wait to share with you guys my thoughts on it. I feel like this is perfect for this time of year because fall is around the corner and I'm starting to feel the warm tone vibes. I want to say this is going to be the easiest eye look we've ever done on this channel, period you are going to absolutely love how simple this eye look is and also just for how beautiful it looks you know like so freaking easy i'll be leaving the links to everything down in the description box of the video so if you guys are interested in shopping this collection please use those links it definitely helps out my channel when you guys do that and now let's just get started don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave I'm coming at you today with the boldest brows of my life. I zoned out and kept on painting. I know they look intense. Let's move on. <laughs> so in today's video, we're going to be trying some super fun goodies that Charlotte Tilbury just launched. We're first going to be trying the new Charlotte Tilbury Walk Off No Shame Jewel Pod. Look at how beautiful this box is. It's so freaking cute, right? Let me go ahead and open it up the packaging is absolutely stunning on this it is basically a little pot it has a jewel right here on the cap with the charlotte tilbury logo and it is in the shade walk of no shame which this is what it looks like right here it has red and orange and gold in it at first i thought this was going to be like a cream eyeshadow type of thing but it's actually not it's more so like a pressed super finely milled glitter type of thing with this we're going to be doing the easiest eye look we've ever done on this channel hands down it's going to be so freaking simple but absolutely stunning all at the same time i think that you guys are going to love it it's going to be super perfect as we transition into fall it is a really beautiful fall evening tonight i look and like i said the easiest thing to do ever so definitely stay tuned for that and then i also got this right here this is the jewel lips in the same shade walk of no shame and this is like a gloss i'm assuming i haven't tried this one check out this packaging though it's really pretty the cap is all glittery i cannot wait to put this on my lips so of course we're going to do a little bit of a monochrome look today because the eyes and the lips are going to match so let's just get started i want to do the eye look first then we'll do some complexion i brought out a lot of my favorite charlotte products to use along with the new products from charlotte because you know the obsession is real <laughs> so let's get started i'm going to use this alter eagle eyelid primer and with this fluffy concealer brush i'm just going to distribute it everywhere on my eye just like this the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the fluffiest blending brush we have in my case i feel like the bigger one i saw that is clean is the morphe m504 right here and then grab your favorite bronzer mine is the charlotte one i've been obsessing over this one and i'm just going to grab some bronzer on my brush and what we're going to do is we're going to apply the bronzer on the crease of our eye with our big fluffy brush and just distribute that bronzer very evenly on the crease back and forth i'm leaving a little space right underneath my brow on my brow bone area there and just do it until you have a really nice wash of color all over the crease of your eye i think i'm gonna stop right here i feel like i'm content with the amount of bronzer i have on my crease right now i do like to like extend it out a little bit always Next, I'm going to grab my jewel pot and a flat brush. This one is my refer number two, and I'm just going to load up my refer brush. Look at how much product is on there. And I'm going to apply this super fine glittery shade all over my eyelid from the inner part all the way to the outer part back here. I, for some reason, thought this was going to be hard to pick up on a brush, but it's actually super easy to pick up on a brush. I am not going to lie, I did this look at work the other day because I was just so curious about this jewel pot and I had a tester. Um, and so I played with it a little bit and I did it with my finger. And I'm telling you right now, I like the brush better. As you can see, I'm just putting it all over my eyelid. 
and I'm even bringing it up into the crease area once I barely have anything left on my brush and I'm going to start blending it into that bronzer color okay I lowered the light a little bit so you can see more clearly what things are looking like my next step is to just blend the two things together like I have a lot of shimmer at the bottom and more matte at the top so I have a clean fluffy brush this is the Morphe M433 and I'm simply with nothing on it going to run it through the edge of the shimmer color so that the shade in that shimmer expands a little bit over the bronzer and mixes together if you're a little older and your eyelids aren't as smooth and you're scared of glitter I promise you try it because it is so finely milled that it's not really going to attract a lot of attention to the lines it's simply going to make your eyes shine so definitely do not knock this one before you try it because it is just such a finely milled shimmer that I think everybody could do it okay and this is literally it for the top of the eyes of course we're going to be doing a little liner and mascara later on we're going to be doing the under eyes as well but I'm going to start working on complexion for like the top of the eyelid as far as eyeshadow is concerned we are done and just wait this is going to look so pretty I would like to note no fallout underneath my eyes which is like the other scary thing about like super shimmery glittery shades so let's work on complexion I'm going to be applying a little bit of magic cream as my primer I already have some on but I want to do a little more for like before the foundation because the foundation I'm going to be using is her airbrush flawless foundation which is pretty full coverage and more on the matte side and I like to make it a little bit more glowy looking so I apply magic cream as my primer which is always just like the nicest feeling thing in the world I love magic cream guys <laughs> and then we're going to do some foundation so again I'm going to be using the airbrush flawless foundation my color is the 4 neutral but I'm going to make it glowier by applying the Hollywood flawless filter on the back of my hand I'm going to get like two pumps it's not a pump but you know like I took it out of here twice <laughs> so I have around a dime size amount on the back of my hand and I'm going to do one pump of the foundation I'm going to just mix it together with my finger a little bit and then I'm going to start applying it I have my Sigma F80 Kabuki and we're going to blend it all around my face I went ahead and applied my mixture all over my face I'm going to grab the teeniest tiniest bit more of foundation to put over areas where I want a little bit more coverage and this time it's just a foundation not a mixture so I'm going to add a little more right here where my breakouts are and I'm going to add a little bit right here to the center of my cheeks as well I think I just fixed my camera settings I was looking super bright for some reason sorry I'm going to be using a little bit of a color corrector underneath my eyes and I'm blending it in with this beauty blender puff thing and next I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath concealer on my cheeks, my forehead, my nose and my chin and again I'm blending it in with my Beauty Blender Puff my concealer is on and to set it in place I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath under eye setting powder right where my under eyes crease so very very close to my eyeballs and then to smooth out pores on my face I'm going to be using my Charlotte one a little bit further down my cheeks so I'm going to use it on my nose to finish up this eye look I'm going to go back to the bronzer and I'm going to get a smaller brush this is the refer number 13 and with it I'm going to just place the bronzer right underneath my eye connect it right here at the end and this will help to smoke out the look and just blend it into the color of my skin same thing on this eye Ooh just got the brush in my eyeball so that's always fun back to my jewel pod and my number two brush from refer I'm dipping in just the tip of it and I'm going to smudge that color right underneath my lower lash line very very close to my lashes make it meet with the top right here at the end and this brings that luminosity and that fun shimmer to the bottom of the eye as well so next I'm just going to bronze up my whole face I have my bronzer here and my fabulous refer number 22 brush and I'm just going to bronze around my forehead bronze my cheekbones 
in my jawline I'm grabbing a smaller brush and I'm also going to bronze up the sides of my nose all the way up to the brow and down on the side of my nose right here with the Charlotte Tilbury loose powder I'm going from the corner of my mouth and out right underneath my bronzer hold on I need more powder here we go just so I can get a little bit more definition on that bronzer and I'm doing something similar on the sides of my nose while I let that sit there for a second I'm going to use my pillow talk blush and I'm just patting it on my cheekbones with my E4 from Morphe I believe yes the E4 from Morphe and this blush matches this jewel pot so nicely and next I'm going to highlight with the highlight from the bronze and highlight duo I'm going to use the same highlight in the inner corner of my eyes I have the JH51 brush from Morphe and I am just placing it right there on that inner corner and blending it in a little bit now I'm just dusting off all of this powder I've had sitting on my face for a little while and because I have dry skin and I just had so much powder on my face I'm going to do like a nice facial mist to refresh and make things not look powdery basically so I think I'm going to use this one this is from Caudalie and it's basically grape water grape water also has antioxidants which is nice for environmental protection but I just want to not look dusty <laughs> I bought a fan and I've had it without battery for like a month now so we're back to this <laughs> let me put on some mascara okay just kidding I'm back halfway through applying my mascara because I wanted to do eyeliner this is torch from urban decay and I'm just going to put it on my waterline I'm back with mascara on and I'm applying a little bronzer right where I put that powder earlier because I feel like the powder took too much away <laughs> yeah I think this is better and of course we have one last thing to do and that is lipstick because I've never tried the jewel lips before I don't know if I'm going to want to do a lip liner with it or not so I'm going to try it by itself first and then decide whether I want a liner for it or not so let's just go for it I don't know who twisted this but I'm having a super hard time opening it <laughs> here we go I'm super curious to see how these feel okay that's really pretty I think that you could definitely get away without doing a lip liner because I kind of lined my lips with it a little bit and it looks really nice these look super juicy and they feel like a gloss but they're not overly sticky which I like because I hate sticky glosses but it's definitely a glossy feeling not like an oil gloss type of feeling and I feel like when you do this you can kind of feel the glitter in there a little bit but I mean we only do that when we apply the lipstick and then we move on with our lives so that I don't think is something that is going to bother me alright so this is it this is the look today I feel super pretty and tell me that was not the easiest eye look we've ever done on this channel because I think it definitely was a little bit of bronzer one eyeshadow blend them together and you're good to go it doesn't get any easier than that and it looks so freaking pretty as far as my thoughts on this product, I think it goes without saying that I really love them both. Something I want to point out about this eyeshadow, I wore it the other day at work without a primer for like 8 hours. And I could feel, because I feel like the AC is not very low at work, so I'm like getting heated the whole day. I could feel my eyelids sweating and the eyeshadow was not budging, it did not crease at all whatsoever it stayed in place the whole day I was very surprised by it because I felt like I had sweaty eyelids and the eyeshadow did not move <laughs> so I was so impressed by that you guys and then this is my first time wearing the jewel lips I really love the color of it I love that it's not overly sticky and I think you can definitely wear it by itself without a lip liner or a lipstick underneath I feel like this look is perfect for this time of year fall is around the corner and I am totally feeling these warm tones of course if you like this video give it a thumbs up before you leave let me know what you thought of this look down in the comment section below please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet I would love it if you stuck around and I hope to see you back in the next video bye